Have you ever seen a random, unexplained drop in views, visits, and sales on your Etsy account? I sure have, and what I wanted to talk about today is this sneaky little thing that Etsy likes to do called shadow banning. And the whole premise of shadow banning and this term that a lot of us Etsy sellers like to use is where your store is temporarily taken down in organic traction and taken down in the Etsy algorithm for a unknown amount of time and Etsy really doesn't tell you why. You kind of just have to figure it out on your own. Some people will end up going on Google and asking common reasons why you are shadow banned from Etsy and things like that. That's at least what I did when I was shadow banned from Etsy and today I wanted to go over the top three reasons why you can get easily shadow banned on Etsy and hopefully by the end of this video you will know all three reasons and ways you can get shadow banned and how to prevent your store from getting shadow banned as my store has a few times in my time on Etsy and I've been on the platform for about two years now so hopefully none of this happens to you but today we are going to learn all about how to prevent it and go from there. So some of you may be wondering right now what constitutes as Etsy shadow banning? How do I know if my listings or my store is currently shadow banned. And there's a few ways to kind of do your own research and figure this out. Now, with that being said, if you have Etsy listings that have never made it to the first few pages of the Etsy search, or you haven't had views and visits to begin with, that's very normal. That's not shadow banning. That's just your store just beginning and growing in the ranks on the Etsy algorithm. So if you're a new store within the first few months and you aren't getting views and visits, that's a completely different thing than Etsy shadow banning. What Etsy shadow banning is, is basically where Etsy will not notify you and you will see a drop off in views, you'll see a drop off in visits and even purchases on your account. And your items ultimately will stop being shown to potential buyers on Etsy. So generally a lot of listings will be shown on the related listing area if you scroll to the bottom of an Etsy listing or they will also show up in the first few pages of search. So when you're shadow banned, Etsy basically removes your listings from the related listing sections. It will remove it from the suggested homepage area for most Etsy customers. And then it will also remove it or take it down in the pages on the Etsy search. When Etsy does this, they're essentially limiting how many buyers can purchase from your store. And they are trying to basically cease buyers from purchasing from your store. And sometimes this is for good reasons and Etsy has good intentions behind this. However, you need to make sure that you're not getting shadow banned for any of the reasons that I'm going to talk about in this video because you may not know why exactly you're shadow banned and hopefully this answers some of the questions you may have right now, especially if you clicked on this video and you're wondering, hey, I'm shadow banned. What in the heck do I do? How do I get out of this? And the first step to getting out of this is you have to figure out why you're shadow banned. So we're going to go over the reasons why and then how to fix these. Luckily for you if you clicked on this video and you suspect that you may be shadow banned hopefully by the end of this video you will know exactly why you're shadow banned even though Etsy may not tell you which they usually don't tell you. They like being mysterious, I've noticed with Etsy. Etsy is just this mysterious person that just randomly shadow bans people and they don't tell you why, they just expect you to figure it out on your own. But what I will say is if you found out you have been shadow banned or you suspect that you are shadow banned, we're gonna go over the reasons why you may be shadow banned. Stick around for more and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment down below with any questions you may have or any suggestions for next videos. I'm always reading your comments and seeing what else we can create on this YouTube platform and what knowledge I can share with you guys, my audience. So besides that, we're going to get right into the three reasons why you might be shadow banned. <laughs> So guys, the first reason that you would be shadow banned on Etsy is if you have inaccurate shipping and processing time. So let's say on your listing, your listing states this will be processed within one to five business days. 
However, if you start shipping out and attaching your USPS tracking code or any other type of shipping information, maybe let's say six days after someone purchases, that shows Etsy that you are being inaccurate to your shipping and processing times on your Etsy listing. So one of the easiest fixes to this, and it's quite simple really, all you have to do is go to your shipping profiles and adjust those shipping profiles to to a longer processing time. So your customers have more accurate data and let's say your processing time is six days on average, then you are signaling to Etsy that you are accurate in your shipping times. However, let's be real guys, six days processing time is a really long time. So if you're having that issue, you might wanna hire help or figure out how to kind of speed up your shipping and processing times. A lot of the times Etsy really loves stores that can process items within one to five business days. That's kind of the sweet spot for shipping. Everyone is trying to be like Amazon Express now. So of course, Etsy as a platform wants their sellers to ship as quickly as they can. As far as print on demand goes, for my own processing times, I set mine for one to five business days. And this generally is really, really great for my processing times and it makes it very accurate. As much as a lot of new Etsy stores would love to say that they can ship items within one to three business days, that would be amazing and great. A lot of the times those are just very hard and quick deadlines that a lot of Etsy stores just cannot guarantee and ship in time. So just make sure that you are putting accurate processing times and shipping times on your listings so your customer can expect to wait maybe a little bit longer. And although that might affect someone purchasing your items, maybe that's something that you want to look at later on down the line is how to quicken and speed up your processing times to give your listings a higher conversion rate. So the second reason that you can get shadow banned on Etsy is by having very long response times. And as you guys have seen recently, as of 2021, there was a star seller badge program that Etsy introduced. One of the main components of earning a star seller badge is having a response time within a 24 hour time period. So if you aren't responding to your customers or you're leaving order issues for a very long period of time, sometimes what can happen is Etsy will shadow ban you because they think that you are an inactive seller. So you really have to make sure that you are responding to all of your messages in a prompt amount of time. And I know that seems kind of crazy, especially if you go on a vacation and you want a week off, but even when you put your store on vacation mode, you still have to respond to order issues and messages. And that is stated on Etsy's house rules on the website as well. So that's something that you really need to focus on is answering your messages in a timely fashion. One of the best ways that you can do this when you're on vacation even, or you take a weekend off is you can set a auto response and that will send a message to any customer that messages you when maybe it's the weekend or maybe you're taking a little break from Etsy. You can at least have a auto response message that will immediately send to your customer following when they message you. So that is just a tool and tip I can give for anyone who wants to take a little getaway weekend or a vacation or just needs a mental health day. Just make sure you're taking that time for yourself and setting those auto response messages. The third and final reason any OG POD friends you guys know you guys know when I do this sign what this means at the end of this year I'm gonna make a montage of all the times I've done that sign per videos you guys will have to stick around to the end to understand what that sign is anyways we're gonna we're gonna continue here so the third I, I put up four now so I don't make that sign again the third reason that you can get shadow banned on Etsy is oh, I lost my train of thought I lost my train of thought I'm the worst I'm the worst 
So the third and final reason that you can have a shadow ban on your Etsy account is by someone filing a case against you on Etsy. So what a case filing is, is when a customer states to Etsy that they have a unresolved conflict or issue with an Etsy seller. So Etsy doesn't take these cases lightly. And this is a common occurrence for stores that don't accept returns and exchanges. So so let's say you have a no return or exchange policy on your Etsy store, which is not bad to have. I've had that the first six months that I was on Etsy. However, this can open up a can of worms because if you have no return and exchange policy, and let's say you have a defective t-shirt that was printed and shipped out to your customer, sometimes what can happen is the customer gets so upset about it that instead of contacting you directly, they take it the extra mile and they go straight to Etsy and file a case against you. Now, what Etsy does in return is, first of all, sometimes they automatically shadow ban all of your listings, especially if you are a very new store and maybe you don't have many reviews, you don't have many purchases to begin with, they can shadow ban you just on that alone. And one of the reasons why is because Etsy does not want inauthentic stores or stores that have low customer service response rates or low customer service experiences for any Etsy customers. The first thing that you want to do is reach out to your customer and see how you can help them or assist them in any way possible. So first of all, you'll message them and just ask if they want to return. Maybe they want to exchange. And generally, this really, really can fix the issue very quickly. One of the easiest ways to end a case claim, and I know a lot of people aren't going to want to hear this solution, but the easiest way would be to just refund that customer. And that will completely take away that Etsy case that is filed against you. Now, one thing that is very, very bad for a new Etsy store is if you have two or more cases filed against you, as Etsy states on their website, they have stated this in the past at least, this may change as years go on, but Etsy does shut down stores that have multiple unresolved cases filed against an Etsy store. So if you find yourself in this place where you have multiple Etsy cases filed against your store, you definitely need to make sure that you contact those customers directly as soon as humanly possible. And if they're not responding to you, then maybe the best solution would be to just refund that customer and kind of take the L in a way. And I know that is not the solution a lot of people want to hear, but I've done it in the past. I've had customers who have contacted me and I contacted them back with a solution. They didn't respond to me. Instead, they filed an Etsy case and essentially I ended up refunding them at the end of the whole situation. So sometimes just as an Etsy seller, you have to have the idea and the thought that the customer is always right because they received an item that they did not like, they are not going to wear, they are not going to use, and they just want a refund at the end of the day. Maybe the item's defective and you really can't do anything about it if you shipped a defective item to a customer. The best part about print on demand though that I will say is if a defective item is shipped to a customer, all you need is just a picture from that customer to prove that the item is defective. Then you will send that to your print on demand provider and in most cases they will refund, especially if you mention that the customer was very agitated in receiving a defective item. So that's the best that I can suggest is always, always, always ask for a picture of any type of defect that a customer receives so you can give that proof to your print-on-demand company because technically as a print-on-demand business owner, you are a customer and a client of a print-on-demand company. So if there is a defect, the fault rests on the print-on-demand company and not so much you, except for you are the storefront at the end of the day. So you need to make sure your customer service is at peak levels for Etsy. Anyways, guys, I really hope this video helped those of you who may have been shadow banned. And if you guys have any other questions, please comment them down below. Stick around for my bloopers and we will end the video here. For those who didn't know what this sign means, this is from the Hunger Games. I've done it in multiple videos now. So if you're new to the Heather Studio YouTube channel, now you're in on the inside secret.
It wasn't really a secret though. I was just a huge Hunger Games fan growing up and I did go to the premieres of all the Hunger Games movies. So fun fact about me. But besides that guys, I do have an Etsy in Print On Demand Crash Course. Link in the bio as well. I do have a free training called How to Earn Your First 10K with Etsy and Print On Demand. Definitely I suggest watching that training because it is my most information packed training out there that I could give to you guys on how to start your Print On Demand Etsy stores and how to grow it and earn that first 10K on Etsy with Print On Demand because it's really easy to do. I've seen this process replicated for so many of my students and clients now. Besides that, guys, I will see you all in my next video here. Luckily for you, if you clicked on this video and you suspect, and one of the main components of earning a star, star sell, I can't speak. <laughs> so besides that, I will leave you guys with that. I was just redundant there.